Chica. I'm got it software architect. I'm visiting Vietnam for a couple of weeks, and I'm very happy to meet you. So, what's your name? Uh, my name is Tony. And uh, how old are you? I am currently 13 years old. Wow, that's very young. And uh, you are you're probably our youngest intern ever. How long are you interning here? Well, I've been doing intern here during the summer, so it's not a month and a half. And how, how did you even consider interning at Gaudi? So like, my mom knew that I was interested in programming, so she started like, searching for any things I can do online and she come across Gaudi. And she asked her friends about how Gaudi works and is it fun. And she decided for me to have an interview here and get an internship here. Wow. And so did you learn, did you know some, uh, some programming before coming to Gaudi? Yes. What, what did you know? Uh, I know a lot about uh, making web design such as HTML, CSS, and some of JavaScript. And uh, here at Gaudi, what did you learn? Um, I, I learned a lot more detail about uh, a program language called Python. And I also, I also learned a bit about machine learning and got to do some big projects. I heard that you did it like a college level Python course here with exercise and everything. Yes. Is that true? Yeah. Wow, that's, that's, that's amazing. That's actually pretty, pretty cool. So let's talk about your project. So what, what did you do here at Gaudi? What was your main project? So my main project is to create a car that can drive by itself uh, on, a, on a certain path. Okay, so that, that's actually the hardware that you use, right? Yes. Cool. And then what were the, what were the steps? What parts of the project that you can explain for someone that knows nothing about machine learning and about these kind of projects? So first off, we have to like, the, um, test it, like know how it works. And then we put uh, some code or some files into the car. And then we calibrate the car so that it can move forward and backwards smoothly. It can turn without any problem. So you learn how to SSH and how to log in inside the car yeah. using like Linux commands. Yeah. Wow, OK. And then we started to train it by using yeah, images to let it know what, uh, how to drive and how to follow the path. <coughs> yeah. And uh, so you train it, do you, uh, what kind of uh, machine learning techniques do you guys use for, for learning? So we use the Kira yeah. framework. Yeah, Kira framework. Cool. And like, the, you, like what kind of model do you use? Well, we use supervised learning. Yeah, okay. That's it. Right. And uh, so after the car learns, is that learning inside the car or that le how, how the learning is occur? How, how is that process? Mm, so like, we have to like dig deep and like change some things about the car. I see. And um, so was this process smooth or uh, do you have any challenge? Yeah, we do have some challenge. So like we have some some problem on the camera like. It doesn't have enough resolution, so we decide to change the setting of the camera, or we change the camera. And the second problem is about the, the calibration. Like sometimes the car doesn't move smoothly, or the car can't turn, or it can't drive. So we decide to change the setting in, inside the car, uh, about how it moves and how it turns. And we also have a bit problem about the training, uh, because the path wasn't bright enough, or there are too much spot or places that is not uh, very dark, so the car doesn't know where to move. Great, and so now what are the next steps? Uh, I didn't have any plans for it, but I think I'm going to improve the car to make it okay, so that it can drive on any kind of different path and it can avoid collisions and avoid cars and obstacles. That's, that's pretty awesome. So at Got It, we really care about results. So, you know, enough talk, let's, why don't you show me how this works? Okay. All right. Okay, okay so what are you going to show me now? So I'm going to show you uh, the demo, like how the car runs and how it like, runs on the Okay, excellent. So you're going to like, load all of your code in the car and the car will drive by itself? Yes. Awesome. Cool. So as you can see, uh, we are already connected into the car and we've already got inside the car. It's already used like one command to like, make it drive and use the train file to run drive. And it just like, let it wait. It's loading now in the car of yeah. the model. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And it adjusts itself 
Like for the best thing to go out of the city. That's great. So now the car is just driving by itself. Okay. Awesome. Okay, cool.